How to live a luxurious life in the Philippines. So we know that most videos on YouTube talk about how you can save money and live cheaper in the Philippines. But what about if you have a good pension or a big lump sum? How can you live well as a wealthy guy in the Philippines? As somebody who has cash, you have a lot of opportunities. But before heading to the Philippines, it is best to think about your short term needs. Now the good news is that you don't have to do this alone so let's go through a few ideas Now most expats tend to pick up a tourism or retirement visa, but if you plan to invest in the Philippines, you could pick up an investor's visa. For this, you will need to be 21 years of age and invest at least $75,000, but if you are planning to invest nonetheless, then this visa may be a good alternative. The second step is very beneficial, and this is to open a local bank account. Now traditionally, there are requirements for opening a local bank account in the Philippines and this often includes being in the country for at least six months. However, if you invest a lot of cash or you have a long-term visa then it's much easier to open an account. The third step is to hire a personal assistant. Now this is optional but very handy. There are tons of personal assistants in the Philippines and the salary ranges between two dollars to five dollars an hour. If you've just moved to the Philippines and you're unsure of how everything works it's definitely a great option and also it costs next to nothing. So now let's take a look at what you need to do when you physically get to the Philippines. So as you have a good level of income there are many different places where you could live. Some expats recommend Makati City if money is not a problem. This is because the city is very clean, it's very modern, it has great medical care with tons of things to do. Earlier on I spoke about getting yourself a local bank account However, when it comes to money, it's a good idea not to bet all your money on the Philippines. Nothing in this video is financial advice, but in my own experience, I find keeping money back home and also spread across other Asian countries the best option for me, so it's something to think about. Now, after a few months of living in the Philippines, you may wish to consider medical insurance. There are some amazing international health insurances that offer expats a complete list of services, but they are more expensive than local insurances in the Philippines. In other words, local insurances in the Philippines are a great option, but they are not premium, so it does lack the services unlike international insurances. However, what about if you are someone who doesn't have millions but wants to live a good life in the Philippines? Well, one of the first steps is to make sure that you live in one of the cheaper areas. For example, a studio in Makati can cost the same as a two bedroom in Davao City. You may need to think seriously about how you want to live in the Philippines. How do you want to spend your days? What things do you want to do? And how will you enjoy your life in the Philippines? Does luxury look like spending the weekend at the spa with your Filipino girlfriend or do you see it as relaxing in the hammock on the beaches of El Nido? For me, living well is having a healthy lifestyle, having enough money in the bank not to worry about going broke, choosing quality over quantity, giving back to those less fortunate and really letting go of my comfort zone. To a certain degree, as long as you have all the basics taken care of, living well is a state of mind. If you remember this, you will live amazingly in the Philippines. 